Yeah. Okay, I'm Corinne Thomas, and these are my notes. It's one of the most recognizable hotels on the Strip, with fountains spanning its entire front and a conservatory filled with flowers on the inside. In case you don't know what hotel I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. I'm sure you have either enjoyed one of its various forms of entertainment, including their shows, or you've known someone who's stayed there. There's always something new to discover at the Bellagio. Because the Bellagio's elegant theme, many attractions, and fine dining, it is considered one of the most luxury hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. To begin with, I'm going to talk about its Italian theme. It's known for its aura of Italy, and it was built in the year 1998, and it was envisioned by Steve Wynn with the help of Atlantia Design. And it was originally named the Beau Rivage. However, after visiting Bellagio, Italy, which is a small village near the Lake, Lake Como in Italy, it was named Bellagio, which means elegant relaxation. It is the ultimate romantic hotel on the Strip. And it also has a similar architecture to Italy. It has many arches throughout its design, and it has fountains scattered throughout its entire property. Another grand thing about the Bellagio is its size and cost. It is built on a property of 126 acres. It has 3,015 guest suites, 122,000 square foot casino, 12,500 foot botanical garden, 150,000 square feet of convention space, and has an eight acre man-made lake filled with fountains in its front. And it costs 1.6 billion dollars to build, which is quite a high price. And uh, along with its high price and size, it also has many forms of entertainment, including shows, a conservatory, and its fountains. The most known, probably, form of entertainment about the Bellagio is the Fountains of Bellagio. It has over a thousand fountains that shoot 460 feet in the air, enhanced by music and light, and there are 21 different musical shows. And the next most popular form of entertainment at the Bellagio is the Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. Each season, a team of 120 horticulturalists design a display to go along with that season. And every time they change out a display, 90% of the flowers that were used are recycled. And then lastly, their most famous show is O oh by Cirque du Soleil. It put, pays tribute to the theater and it's kind of how it's grown in the romantic side of the theater. And it has water, divers, it's acrobats, it has basically everything in Cirque, so a lot of tricks and all that. And along with their forms of entertainment, they have a lot of fine dining options at the Bellagio. There are 26 different restaurants total at the Bellagio. One of their most famous ones is Le Cirque. It goes along with the show O. And it ha it's right by the man-made lake in the front. It's filled with bright colors. And according to Bellagio's website, it says immerse yourself in brilliant colors and it prepare to enjoy a meal as bold as your surroundings. It serves French food and it earned a triple, a five dining award for its food. And then its second most popular restaurant is Harvest by Roy Elmar. It serves American food primarily with all locally grown ingredients. The goal of the restaurant is to provide a wide palette of food, but it tries to maintain a healthy eating style for travelers who are on a diet. And in conclusion, I shared with you the architectural composition, entertainment options, and fine dining options at the Bellagio Hotel. It is a very grand and romantic hotel with entertainment for everyone. And next time you visit the Strip, visit the Bellagio and you may find yourself transported to Bellagio, Italy.
audience. Saying that's his name.